Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast where we are going to be solving this engineering mechanics a problem and it reads uh, draw the shear and moment diagrams for the beam. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics and statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So we have a triangular distributed uh, loading on a simply supported beam. We have a hinge at A where we are going to have a reaction force AY and uh, ax okay and we'll have it be the reaction force by okay and we'll have an equivalent force just at the mid span. Let's call it F, which is equal to half times six times nine. This gives us half by three, half by six is three, three by nine is a 27. Okay. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium. So we have summation of moments about point A equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. And we have we have a minus twenty-seven by three and a plus by uh, by six equal to zero. Therefore, by is going to be equal to by is going to be equal to minus twenty seven by three divided by uh, six. This gives us a thirteen point five. And then we have summation of forces in the y equal to zero. Going up in my positive and we have a y plus b y minus 27 equal to 0 b y so we already have it therefore our a y is just going to be equal to 13.5 minus 27 gives us a 13.5 kilonewtons then we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero going this direction is positive therefore we have a x equal to zero kilonewtons so our by is equal to 13.5 kilonewtons Ay is equal to 13.5 kilonewtons and Ax is equal to 0 kilo, kilonewtons. Okay, so we are going to use the differential equations that relates a distributed force to a shear, shear to the moment. The rate of change of moment with respect to x is equal to shear and therefore. And therefore, moment is equal to the area under the shear diagram. The rate of change of shear with respect to x is equal to distributed force and therefore shear is equal to the integral of the loading q dx. All right. So with these two differential equations, we're going to draw our uh, diagrams, the shear and the bending moment diagram. Right. Let's start doing the work. So we have positive up, negative down, positive up, negative down. Uh huh. This is the shear force diagram, and this is the bending moment diagram. 
so let's start with the shear at a we have the boundary condition there ay is equal to 13 therefore we are going to have a value of 13 up to let's say to that point you can put it up to that point okay so this is a 13.5 kilo newtons then from let's call this point a midpoint as our c so we have q equal to uh from a to from a to c we have q which is uh, negative it is negative and it is increasing therefore the slope of our shear diagram is also going to be negative and increasing okay so if the load is a polynomial or the load is governed by a function which is a polynomial of degree one a linear function then you expect uh, the the shear function to be governed by a polynomial of degree 2 which is a quadratic so let's find this magnitude since we know it's slope to say it's negative and uh, increasing v is going to be equal to the integral of q dx which is just area under the loading diagram and this is equal to half times 3 times 9 let me put a negative to show that this is negative and then this therefore gives us uh, that's 0.5 by 3 by 9 this gives us a 13.5 minus 13.5 okay so we are starting from uh, the boundary condition at a is positive 13.5 so we have 13.5 minus 13.5 which is equal to 0 so the slope let's now draw our slope that is negative and increasing okay so we expect a slope that is negative and increasing to take this shape which of the two shapes can we use this one this is one and this one which one between curve two and one which has an increasing uh, negative slope of course both of them are negative but which one has an increasing slope between one and two of course it is two right great it is two so quadratic in nature so we expect this behavior like this okay let me draw it properly no. something like that all right and then from c from c to d from c to d our q is negative but decreasing okay it's decreasing from 9 to 0 therefore our db dx will also be negative and decreasing okay the magnitude will be the same because this beam is symmetrical so v integral of q dx you expect it to also be equal to minus 13.5 okay so it's negative and uh decreasing Therefore, you expect a slope and this quadratic also, which is something like that. Like that. Okay. And then when we reach at B, so this point here is minus, which minus 13.5 kilo 
neutrons. When we reach at, at B, B we have we have we have a minus 13 as boundary condition or the final value then plus the value at B which is positive 13 plus 13.5 we positive. Therefore when they sum up this becomes equal to zero. Okay, so it closes up like that. Okay, so this is positive and this is negative. So let's draw the other one, which is the moment. We move it a little bit down and back to somewhere there. Okay. So we need to generate some equations for this one and we'll start from uh, the so let's draw a quick one so we have this part here we could section this directly but I want to use another technique so uh, we have the initial value here of 13 this point is a this is c this is 9 kilonewtons per meter and this length here is 3 so if we are to find uh, the function that governs this uh, this load q Okay, we can write it in terms of m y is equal to m x plus c. Our gradient is positive, which is just a change in y divided by the change in x, so it's 9 divided by 3, which is just equal to 3. And our c is just going to be equal to 0 because at a we are assuming there's nothing there. There's the load, I mean, it starts from the origin, which is our reference point. Therefore, and y is equal to q so our q therefore is just going to be equal to uh, 3 uh, 3x 3x that's about it okay so now what we are going to do is we want uh, to find the area under this uh, diagram so we have the boundary condition of say B, which is a shear diagram from A to C, has the initial value of 13.5 and minus uh, the integral of uh, the area under this curve, which is just Q, okay, Q dx. And this therefore becomes equal to 13.5 minus our Q, we just say this 3x dx. And writing this will have 13.5 minus 3x uh, to the power 2 over 2, which is just equal to 13.5 minus 1.5 x squared of course we are writing it as uh, indefinite integral we are not including the constant c so this is our equation that is governing our shear this shear here is the same equation from just a to c when x is equal to 0 we have 13.5 and then when x is equal to 3 we have 13.5 minus 1.5 by 3 squared, which gives us a 0, of course. So that is the right equation. Great. So with that equation, we can therefore find the moment, the total moment. Okay. So now, since we've done that preliminary step, let's go ahead here and say our shear, that is from A to C, is positive 
and it is decreasing okay and therefore the slope of our moment dm dx will also be positive and decreasing so let's find the magnitude of the moment which is just going to be equal to the integral of v dx and our m is going to be equal to integral what is our v we said is 13.5 minus 1.5 x squared dx and this will integrate it from 0 to 3 a to c is 0 to 3 therefore our m is just going to be equal to 13.5x uh, minus 1.5 squared squared cubed over 3 we are integrating from let me just minus 1.5x x, x cubed divided by 3 we are evaluating from 0 to 3 and therefore my moment is going to be equal to this from a to c let's evaluate this 13.5 by 3 minus 0.5 1.5 over 3 just 0.5 times 3 cubed so this gives us a 27 so that is our magnitude up to see where we have shear equal to zero so let's draw now let's draw this so we are saying the slope is positive and decreasing so positive and decreasing is going to be something like this okay mm -hmm. something like that all right so that point there is a 27 that is the maximum point 27 kilonewtons meter and since this is symmetrical we expect the same curve to fall back down like so okay and this moment here is positive all right so this is really about it let me just clean up the slate I clean up this slate. This is about it. This is really about it. Okay, there we go. This is about it. And I hope the video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye. And see you in my next uh, screencast.